And I have a really unique showcase uh, participant today. His name is Brian Kelly. He owns an automotive repair shop. We've known each other for many, many years. And I thought his story was worth telling. So I want you to listen really close because it's powerful. Now, he owns an automotive repair shop and lives four and a half hours away from it. And it runs really basically on its own. So, Brian, how did you get from working in it every day to where you are today? Kind of a simple story for us. Yeah, thanks for asking, Gary. Um, man, I'll tell you, I spent uh, I spent a lot of time in the early days in the business. And, uh, you know, as you ask the question, I, I even, in my mind, I, I turned this over a little bit. and I, I think back to the uh, the days of every day, in at the helm, whether it was in my office, whether it was at the front counter, whether it was circle in the bays. And, you know, I, I found, um, man, I want to say probably 10, 10 or 12 years ago uh, is when this process began. And uh, I can tell you, maybe it wasn't even intentional when it began, but uh, I found myself so preoccupied with other things around me. Uh, whether it was my chamber of commerce, whether it was my auto association, my rotary club, um, it could be doing different community activities. I always think of this fishing derby that we'd spend three days on. And so there was this, this need showed up, this, uh, this need for my time outside the business. And, you know, before you knew it, I was spending my time doing those things um, instead of working in the business. And, and as I say that, there, there could be some confusion too, because it might sound like, oh, he's not working on the business. Um, and I would say just the opposite. I would say I was deeply invested in the business, just not necessarily mm -hmm. on site every day. So, so the productive things for me became, how are we strategizing? How are we planning? How are we marketing? How am I leading the, uh, the team inside the company? And, and how are they responsible for their own actions? And those things started to show up, you know, and, and obviously probably day one, but it mm -hmm. became, it became what I would say intentional after five or six years of, of being in business. And, and really I, I began running those kind of plays all the way through. And, and I found myself um, three and a half years ago coming to my, my team and saying, Hey guys, uh, I'm thinking about moving. And and I can still remember this meeting. We we do a every morning we do just a quick toolbox meeting in the in the shop, and I gather everybody around and we we have these we do a little exercise of what are you grateful for today? And we go through our gratefulness. And I said, guys, before we go over numbers, I just I got a quick one for you, and I want to I want to just get some head nods. And I'm really thinking about moving out of the state, and and I have an idea that there's some things I want to do, and uh, I want to know if I have your support, and. You know, I, my expectation of what was coming next is much different than what happened. I, I expected some disappointment, some dismay, and I got laughter. I got a whole team that oh, went wow. into laughter. And, and I remember thinking, what the, where's the laughter going? And, you know, once it calmed down, I said, what, what's so funny? And, and my general manager goes, well, you don't really do anything here anyway. So what difference would that make? <laughs> And, and at first I took, I mean, you know, my ego got up and I went, oh, you know, who's, yeah. how, how dare you say don't do anything? 